The camera world has changed so quickly over the last year that it has given even jaded users whiplash. Since our last guide, new models from Canon, Sony and others have arrived with big improvements in shooting speeds, autofocus and video. And with new cameras arriving, it's easy to find deals on past models. It can be hard to keep pace with this technological arms race, but that's where we come in. Our 2021 guide will catch you up on all the latest models and bargains, so you can select a camera that fits your shooting needs to a T. To learn more about mirrorless tech and why it's taken over the camera world, take a look at our upscale deep dive at the link in the description below. Now let's talk about what to look for in a mirrorless camera. The most important factor is the sensor size. The largest is medium format used on relatively niche and expensive cameras from Fujifilm, Hasselblad and Leica models. Full frame offers the best image quality, low light capability and depth of field for mainstream cameras. It's also the most expensive and finicky. While blurred background bokeh looks beautiful, focus can be extremely fine. That means your subject's eyelashes might be in focus, but not their eyes. The next size is APS-C, offered on Fujifilm, Sony, Nikon, and Canon models. Cameras and lenses are cheaper, but you still get dreamy bokeh, decent low-light shooting capability, and relatively high resolution. With a sensor size equivalent to 35mm movie film, it's ideal for shooting video. Micro Four Thirds, used by Panasonic and Olympus, is the smallest sensor size for mirrorless cameras. It offers less bokeh and light gathering capability than APS-C, but allows for smaller and lighter cameras and lenses. For video, it's harder to blur the background to isolate your subject, but focus is easier to control. Also key to your buying decision is resolution. High-res cameras like Sony's 61 megapixel A7R4 deliver more detailed images but aren't ideal for video or low-light shooting. Lower resolution models like Panasonic's 10.3 megapixel GH5S excel at video and high ISO shooting but lack detail for photos. Image quality is subjective but different cameras do produce slightly different results. It's best to check sample photos to see which model best suits your style. What about handling? Some cameras, like the Fujifilm X-T4, have lots of manual dials to access shooting controls, while Sony's A6600 relies more on menus. For heavy lenses, you may need a camera with a chunky grip. Video is more important than ever. Most cameras deliver at least 4K at 30 frames per second, but some models now offer 4K at up to 120p, 6K, and even 8K resolution. If you need professional looking results, choose a camera with 10-bit or even RAW capability. In-body stabilization is an important option for video and low-light photography. Meanwhile, the EVF resolution and refresh rate is key to judging shots, particularly in bright environments. You'll also want to consider whether the rear display flips around for vlogging, along with lens selection, battery life, the number and type of memory card slots, the ports, and wireless connectivity. Now that you know what to look for, let's jump into our top camera picks for 2021. I'd consider any camera under $750 a budget model. At the top end of that scale is Sony's Alpha A6100, one of my favorite APS-C cameras from 2020. For $750, it offers the best autofocus in its class while delivering good low-light performance and sharp 4K video. It even offers a flip-up screen for vloggers. The downsides are bad rolling shutter and a low-resolution EVF. Moving down a notch is Fujifilm's $700 X-T200. With gyro-stabilized video, 30 frame per second 4K, and a flip-out display, it's ideal for vloggers and video shooters. It's equally suited to photos with a 24.2 megapixel sensor plus 8 frame per second shooting speeds with eye and face detect AF. The best budget camera is Canon's EOS M200. For $550, including a 15 to 45 millimeter kit lens, you get a 24.1 megapixel APS-C sensor that delivers sharp shots with natural colors and skin tones. It also comes with a flip-up display and 4K 24p video 
albeit with a significant crop. The biggest downsides are the lack of a viewfinder and a limited lens selection. The selection improves if you can spend up to $1,500. Tops in that category is Fujifilm's Great Handling $1500 X-T3. The 26 megapixel sensor delivers good detail with pleasing skin tones and natural colors. It excels for video too with 4K 60 frame per second 10-bit shooting along with microphone and headphone inputs. Less good are the lack of built-in stabilization and a tilt-only display. For a budget full-frame model, Nikon's $1400 Z5 is my top pick. It delivers excellent 24 megapixel image quality with very good high ISO performance. It also comes with built-in stabilization and 4K video is available at up to 30 frames per second, though there's a 1.7 times crop. A better choice for video is Panasonic's $1400 Micro Four Thirds GH5. It's one of the cheapest models with 10-bit high data rate 4K 60p video. It also offers effective image stabilization, pro inputs, dual high-speed card slots, and a flip-out screen. Several cameras are worthy of honorable mention in this category, including Canon's EOS RP, one of the cheapest full-frame cameras at just $1,000. Other good options include the fast and pretty Olympus OMD EM53 and Sony's A6600 with the best autofocus in its class. Now, let's look at what you can get for under $2,500. The leader of that category is the $2,500 20 megapixel Canon EOS R6. Image quality is outstanding and the dual pixel autofocus responsive and quick. It does video equally well offering 4K 60p 10 bit footage and a class leading 8 stops of shake reduction. The downside is overheating that affects recording longer than 30 minutes. Video shooters should look at Panasonic's $2,000 full frame S5. You can shoot 4K 30p downsampled video from the full sensor width or 4K 60p from an APS-C cropped size, all in 10-bit color. Photo quality is also a strong point thanks to the dual gain 24 megapixel sensor. The main drawbacks are the wobble prone contrast detect autofocus, slow burst speeds and a mediocre EVF. For considerably less, Fujifilm's $1700 X-T4 is the best APS-C camera you can buy. With a flip-out display and in-body stabilization, it fixes the two main issues with the X-T3. And it still offers fast shooting speeds, class-leading 4K video features, and great handling. However, it's a bit bulkier than the X-T3, and the autofocus is inferior to Canon and Sony's offerings. Honorable mentions in this category include the $2,000 Nikon Z6 II, which offers excellent image quality, solid video specs, and great handling. Also, take a look at the $1,800 Canon EOS R, $1,800 Sony a7C, and $2,000 Sony a7 III. Still strong after three years. Finally, here are the best cameras. It's the sky's the limit. At the apex is Sony's 50 megapixel A1, a stunning camera with a stunning $6,500 price. It rules in performance with 30 frame per second shooting speeds and equally quick autofocus that rarely misses a shot. It backs that up with 8K and 4K 120p video shooting, built-in stabilization, and the fastest, highest resolution EVF on the market. The only real drawbacks are the lack of a flip-out screen and, of course, that price. The next best option is Canon's $3,900 45-megapixel EOS R5. For a lot less money, it nearly keeps pace with the A1 thanks to the 20 frame per second shooting speeds and lightning fast autofocus. It also offers 8K and 4K 120p video while beating Sony with internal raw recording. The big drawback is overheating as you can't shoot 8K longer than 20 minutes and it takes a while before it resets and you can shoot again. Moving down a small notch are Sony's A7S 3 and A7R 4 both priced at $3,500. With a 61 megapixel sensor, the latter is the highest resolution full frame camera available, but can still shoot at an incredible 10 frames per second. The A7S III, meanwhile, 
is the best dedicated video camera with sharp 4K at up to 120 frames per second, a flip out display, and category leading autofocus. Honorable mention goes to Panasonic's $4,000 S1H, a Netflix approved mirrorless camera that can handle 6K video and raw shooting. And if maximum sensor size and resolution is paramount, Fujifilm's $6,000, 102-megapixel, medium-format GFX100S is the top dog. You're now caught up, but more models, including Canon's EOS R3 and the Nikon Z9, are set to arrive later this year, so stay glued to Engadget.com. If you enjoyed this video, click like, and please subscribe to stay on top of the latest tech.